So I know three weeks ago I posted official first day of this 2018 season, um, and it was, but today, uh, three weeks later, is the official first day of the Mo season. Um, so here's one of my, my brand new, actually, this is my only brand new one so far this year, uh, Toro Grandstand. Brand new. She's beautiful. Zero miles. Today we're gonna use it for the first time. We've got a mulching kit on it, so it won't spit out any grass. You can't bag it, but you know, in my opinion, you don't need to bag. I know there's some first time mows that are gonna need it this year, and we're just gonna have to use the little mowers uh, for those, uh, because I have been bagging, I haven't bagged, uh, put a, I haven't put a bag on a Toro grandstand for about, I don't know, I guess it's been three years now since I started buying these. Um, to be honest with you, the bagging system on these don't really work that well anyway. I mean, they work, but the grass has to be really dry um, in order for that bag to get full because it fills up from the bottom to the top which is just you know just doesn't really work that well when you do that so here's my 36 inch I have a 48 inch in the shop still I know it's kind of late to be in the shop on day one still in there but I'm not like in a hurry for it anyway I, I took it in there to kind of get it fixed oh because I want to sell it it's still under warranty so I'm gonna sell sell that one. Get them. So that one's a 48 inch, and huh? this one's 36. Because the 36 mowers, um, they fit. They'll fit in all the backyards that we do. Uh, currently, the 48 inch. You know, I used to have two 48 inch grandstands, and I sold one of them. And then I. And then I put it, put that money towards this one. Um, and so, 48 inch mower, 48 inch mowers are awesome, but um, I only have like three really big properties. The rest are all residential. So I would rather have, you know, 36 inch so I can get in all the mower in all the backyards. Um, so. Anyway, last year we were running one-man crews, three of them, and they were doing about, I don't know, 14, 15, well, between 13 and 15 houses a day each crew, and, um, and they were telling me if they had 36-inch mowers, they could do close to 20, and, and they were really, really, like, adamant about that claim, so... I thought, you know, that's, that's a lot of houses extra if we can fit those in. So, so this is why I bought a 36 inch. So hopefully it works out and we'll see. So I am having one of the worst days uh, this year. So. So this, this morning, we're behind. We didn't, yesterday was our first day of mowing and we got our butts kicked. We didn't, we didn't get close to finishing that route. Um, luckily, it's the first week of mow season, first week of April. Nobody really cares if we show up or not, but it was a good test for us to see how far we could get. Um, anyway, it was pathetic. Um, so anyway, so we're behind. And then today I thought, well, I'll get a head start on fertilizing and, you know, and then I'll get, I'll get a fertilizer route done and then I'll pick up the mowing where they left off yesterday. And so anyway, so it was so cold last night that it took about an hour and a half or longer actually to to dethaw the hose, uh, the reel. 
So, so I was all ready to go at eight in the morning, but I didn't actually get out there till like 1030. Um, and then I finally get to my first house. So I started, I started farthest away so I could work my way back to the shop. And so I'm as far as, as I'm going to be that morning and I'm spraying, I'm spraying that first house and the chain comes off. The chain comes off of the reel. It's never happened, ever. So, um, I just couldn't believe it. And so I had to, you know, so I figured, okay, well, if this happened, I'll go do something else. I have to pick up a mower from, I have to pick up a mower from the, the mower shop and uh, anyway so I'm like anyway I get to the shop and I just want to look at the chain and I figure well while I'm here why don't I just fix it so anyway I get it fixed so so that was about the only good news I had so far I get it fixed and then I get a call I get a call from my lead gardener who was just a rock star that he has to leave town and he has no idea when he can come back. He has a family emergency um, and so he doesn't know if he's going to be leaving for, you know, a week or a month or longer or ever. So he actually gave me um, he gave back his hat and his shirts because he thought he doesn't know if he's going to be able to come back. Um, so I'm just like, I can't even believe this. So anyway, it's just, it's just one of those days. So I figure I'm just going to get back on the spray route. Um, you know, we were, me and him were going to finish up. We were going to try and catch up the mow route. That's why I thought, you know, we weren't going to have any problems. That was another thing. So to start the day too, we had to finish a garden job that we didn't finish yesterday. So that always sucks. Um, luckily, he did, you know, finish that a mulching job that we had today uh, before he took off. Um, you know, he felt bad. I feel bad too. Um, but you know, it's just one of those things that I just got to deal with now. We're short, we're short a guy. We're, we're all, we were already short, but you know, he didn't mind work until 8 PM. So, I mean, that, that helped out a lot. Um, and that was good for him cause he was making good money, um, with all this overtime. So I'm just gonna finish my little spray route today um, it's only noon I only sprayed two houses all day um, so I don't know how many more I'm gonna be able to finish get to today but um, anyway that's that's my day so far and it's not even noon so hope you're having a better day this is after five days of use so the guys, the guys went 20 hours overtime this week. This is after the first week of the mow season. The guys did 20 hours overtime uh, with this with this mower this week. I think they had 110 lawns, which normally they should get that done relatively close to 40 hours. Obviously, they, they'll go over probably, but um, the crew leader on that had a helper that it was his first week, so he didn't know how to trim or anything like that. So, so I was pretty, pretty happy. So after the first week, it's got 14 hours of use. So, 
Uh, he kept notes on, on how many lawns it didn't fit in. And it's, he couldn't fit into like four yards, maybe four or five. Uh, so we tag those lawns and and if it's if we're gonna need to open up a new route and have somebody go with the little mowers um, they're gonna do those houses since the grandstand won't fit in the backyard which is pretty amazing that this is a 36 inch mower it's really thin really uh, skinny and and it won't fit into some gates that we work on. That's insane. Um, so anyway, we had the, here's my 48 inch. Let's see if I can get a light on here. So I'm actually taking this to a lawnmower dealer today. They called me up and said they, they know somebody that wants to buy this exact uh, grandstand 48 inch um, and and what I want to do is I want to sell this one put the money I get towards it the money I get from this and put it towards another 36 inch mower so this one's got 484 hours on it so it's still it's still under warranty it's a great mower I love it I Personally, I actually like the 48 inch better than the 36 inch, but the guys that mow, they like the 36 inch better and, and they should get what they want because they're the ones doing it. Um, it's just that you get like the really big properties. This gets done so much faster. Um, so anyway. So, there's my power raker. We've got a, a couple more to do. Uh, we were running these things down to the ground. We ran this thing down to the ground this year. Um, between this year and last year, I think we did 120 power rankings, and that's a lot for these machines. Um, so we, it rattled so much that the top of the cap of this muffler just like broke off. And so it, the engine runs great. The engine's still quiet and good. Um, this is a two year old Bluebird Power Raker, 22 inch. Um, the only thing is the tines are making a loud noise. Like, um, like they're hitting the deck underneath or something I don't know it's just super loud um, we, these are loud machines anyway but but just in the last week or so it's gotten really loud I don't know I may take it in when I take the Toro to see if they can look at it um, the place I buy I bought this at they're not gonna continue to sell these Bluebird power rakers anymore so I'm gonna have trouble getting parts so they recommended I sell it soon as possible um, I love these little money makers right here man I would rather power rate than air rate I I don't mind air rating okay but um, there's just the profit margin on that on the power raker is so much more than this aerator the aerator um, you know brings in on average 55 60 bucks a visit these power rakings, on average, bring in about 150. They require more work and more labor is involved, but... but anyway, so when I do a power raking, I actually upsell on the aerator almost 90, over 90% of the time. So um, I definitely have to have both. Uh, but anyway, so... Again, there's my Toro. I, dude, we were so slammed. I mean, we were so slammed this week with mowing. Uh, you know, it being the first week of the mow season, um, I couldn't get out there and, and show any video of us using that Toro grandstand. But I, I will. Um, 
but but this week we were just trying to get through the route. I was super impressed. The, the Moat guys, last year I had three crews running, almost the same amount of houses. I mean, it's week one, so we don't have as many right now as we did at the peak of last summer, but we were just short by like 10 compared to what we had in, at our peak last year. So, so I didn't know we were gonna get through the houses this week. And so we got our, we got our asses kicked, but we got them done. So I'm super impressed with the guys. Last year we had three crews mowing almost the same amount of houses. Um, and this year, one crew is doing it. Um, mainly because I lost two guys, two crew leaders from last year. Um, and so anyway, I said, I'll give you guys the work, but you gotta get it done. So they got 20 hours of overtime this week, and I'm fine, I'm super happy to pay it. Um, you know what I mean? That's That was like paying two crews going out there to mow this, these, this route. Um, and, and so they're making more money, they're making good money, and, and we got the route done. So I'm super happy. I, I told them out, we do that all day, every day. Um, only thing is, there is gonna be a point where it's gonna be too much and we've gotta open up another route. Um, but you know what I mean and, and also have a backup in case somebody doesn't somebody calls off like I got to worry about that You know they they seem to think it's fine, but I always have to worry about plan B I have to have that ready all the time. So anyway Week one of mowing we got them done <sighs> I Can breathe a little bit. Okay. Also um, I We lost we lost one of our full-time new guys um, who, who knew how to do everything. So we just had to tell him which address to go and what to do, and he just did it. Without any guidance or any training whatsoever, it was amazing. So we lost him. Uh, he had a family emergency. He's still gone, I haven't heard from him. I texted him, didn't hear back. So I don't know, I'm just assuming he's not coming back. Uh, kinda sucks. I know he, he really liked it here. Um, everybody liked him. He liked everybody, um, everybody that's worked, that, that's talked to him about him having to leave, uh, believes that he really had a family emergency. So if he comes back, he's got a place here. Um, but if not, we're just gonna have to keep going. So I interviewed somebody yesterday um, after that video and uh, after that short clip and he came in, uh, I think it was the next day or later on that day so he's supposed to be here either Monday or Tuesday. He wants to be here Monday, but he wants to give his boss like four or five days notice. Um, he doesn't want to leave him high and dry. So he may have to come on Tuesday. Um, and, and I'm fine with that. So, and then once we have him, I got to keep him busy in gardens. So my job, I, I didn't mow a single lawn this, so far this week. I mean, I'm just, Super happy that my guys took care of that mowing list. Now, I, I just gotta sell. I sold a bunch of spring wake ups. I gotta do some walkthroughs to help the garden manager. Um, because, uh, you know, there's, there's a client that, that needs to do the walkthrough at 5 p.m. and she can't be here for that on Monday, so I'm gonna do that for her. Um, I gotta help out wherever I can. I, at first, I didn't want to do any garden, th any anything to do with the gardens because I wanted my garden manager to do everything. But I'm bringing on more gardeners, and I gotta keep them busy. And I don't want to be the reason why there's no work because I couldn't help out and do some estimates. Um, I know you're probably thinking, well, of course you gotta do some estimates. Of course. Well, that's why I hired somebody to do estimates. So, you know what I mean. Um, but anyway, um, it's going good. We got through the first week. I think it's gonna get better once people get more comfortable. Um, and not first week, but first week of mowing. So we've got the guys that were doing power rakings and helping out with gardens uh, prior to this week just did mowing and they, they knocked it out of the park. So I'm super impressed. Um, so I'm here cleaning underneath the deck and look at all the grass clippings that was stuck underneath one of the decks because it rained yesterday. Yes, we mow in the rain. I know there's big controversy whether or not you should mow in the rain or not, but we kind of have no choice. Um, 
we want to get through the list and and you know what if you got the right equipment you can mow through the rain you got you got to have sharp blades uh, so we sharpen these every other day um, at least once a week if we forget we always do it on Saturday so we try and do it in the middle of the week and on Saturday um, but and all we do is just we, we rotate the, the blades I always have a sharp pair for backup we just pop these out put new ones in so it doesn't take very long uh, but here um, like I said I'm cleaning the deck I use this this scraper knife I just get all the way down um, sometimes you use your hands whatever it takes you know anyway look at all that so when you've got the mower up like that and you bring it back down make sure to give it some time for all the fluids to go back into where they're supposed to go um, you don't want to start it while you know whatever is empty like because it's all the way at the bottom or up or whatever you know what i'm saying just let all the fluids drain back where they're supposed to before you turn it on um, and my other recommendation is to either take out the gas before you do this or or flip it over like that when it has very little gas in it uh, so anyway there has been times when I when I've done it with full gas and I try and hurry so that's the other thing when you're when you do this try and hurry as fast as you can um, to get it back level again uh -huh. 